Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Winter and um, I have been MIA on here for like two years, probably more than that. Um, but I am feeling it, I'm back, I am making some time to film some videos and I'm really excited about this one. If you would like to see a little review on the ColourPop Pretty Fresh collection. I'm a little late on the train for this one, um, but I did get it like a month and a half ago and I'm just now finding time to film this and try it out. This will be my first time trying out the product. And just an FYI, I do want to do a little disclaimer. I don't know really all that much about makeup, um, especially not anymore. I did used to work at Ulta and I did want to pursue a makeup artist career um, a few years ago. It didn't pan out because I realized it's just not for me and it's not something that I want to do at the moment. Maybe down the line I'll get into it again. Um, but right now it's kind of just a little bit of dabbling here and there. Like I like to try new products and review things and just see how I feel about a lot of stuff. So I just want to put that in there. Um, I don't know a lot about any of this. Um, I'm just kind of doing this for fun and I just got the product so I felt like it would be fun to try with you guys and kind of review it with the knowledge that I do have. So <laughs> yeah, anyways, go ahead and keep watching if you're interested. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so let's take a look at what I did get. I don't think I missed anything. I do think that I got pretty much everything in the Pretty Fresh line. I'm not quite sure though, so go ahead and correct me if I'm wrong. I have the Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I'm not sure if these are my correct colors um, because we are in quarantine. I have not wanted to go shopping, so I ordered these online. I'm not sure if they're going to be right. We have the Hyaluronic Primer and hyaluronic creamy concealer as well as the hyaluronic foundation hydrating foundation sorry so i want to start off with the primer i did want to do the moisturizer on one side of my face um, and then the foundation on the other side of my face just to see how the colors differ um, and just to see like the difference of the consistency of putting them on and then also the coverage as well. I did see another YouTuber do that where they did half the face the prime or the uh, moisturizer and then half the face the foundation. So I thought that was really interesting. So go ahead and just do the primer. Go ahead and just do two little pumps there. Doesn't smell like anything, which I do like. Oh, well it kind of smells like like coconuts or like a sunscreen type thing going on there. Ooh, it feels really nice, very soft, um, very slick. I do feel as though my skin has been a lot oilier lately. Um, so I'm not sure if this will hydrate my skin too much. <laughs> All right, we got the primer on. I do love the way that it feels and it has a slight scent to it. Um, it's not too overbearing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the moisturizer on this side of my face and the foundation on this side of my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit. Let's go ahead with the moisturizer. Let's see, I'll probably apply with my fingers. Um, initially, getting it out, it looks a little bit dark for me. Oh, very creamy. I think I might have actually put too much on my <laughs> on my fingers there. Yeah. You definitely don't need a lot. Um, a little bit does go a long way. Now, it doesn't look dark at all. It actually looks a little bit light. Okay, um, it is very creamy. I'm actually going to get my, um, my beauty blender. And I've never used a tinted moisturizer before. Um, I've always just used liquid foundations. I actually found this because I was looking for like the best tinted moisturizer that I could get and I saw Kathleen Light's video and um, I just decided might as well try it. Looking now, it doesn't really look like it's done much of anything. I do feel like it washed out my skin a little bit, but I might have just gotten too light of a color. Um, it doesn't cover any blemishes that I have. Um, I do have a little, small little, small little guy here. Didn't cover at all. And this is just one layer. I'm assuming you can go ahead and just layer it on. Um, it did cover 
the majority of the redness that I have around my eye. So let's go ahead and with the hydrating foundation. Usually with my foundation, I go in with a brush and then I um, use my sponge afterwards. Initially looking at it, it looks a little bit, it looks a little warm, but not too much. It is pretty much my skin tone from what I can tell here in the natural light that I have going on. Okay, so I can tell <laughs> right off the bat, um, this, the foundation is definitely more on the warm tone side and um, the moisturizer that I got looks, first off, way lighter. Well, not way lighter, but definitely a shade lighter than the foundation and it also doesn't have any warm tones to it. It's more of like a neutral. I'm not sure if you can tell in the camera. I'm so sorry, the lighting is just not the greatest today. I can see a difference in the mirror a teens. Um, as far as coverage, it is definitely a slight difference. Um, this one definitely did. I feel like it covered a lot more of the darkness and redness that I have under my eyes. The warmth of the foundation, um, it did definitely give me more color and I don't look as washed out as I did when I used the moisturizer. I don't believe that I have any blemishes on this side. I do have a lot of freckles, um, which it did not necessarily cover, but that's not something that I'm looking for in a foundation. Um, and then over here, you can see that I do have that um, small pimple there that it didn't cover um, necessarily at all. But again, the tinted moisturizer is kind of just more of like, for me at least, when I'm on the go, I don't really feel like I want to put a bunch of makeup on or do my whole regular makeup routine. Uh, if I'm just like running errands and I kind of just want like a little bit of coverage, this is definitely something that I would go for. Um, again, I have not tried any other tinted moisturizers ever, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. I love the consistency. Um, very creamy, very easy to apply. It's not watery at all. Um, and again, a little bit does go a long way. So this small bottle, um, really not that small. I guess it's like a normal size for a foundation or a tinted moisturizer. But this will probably last me a very long time, especially if I'm not using it every day. So I got the foundation in the shade Light 45W. As for the tinted moisturizer, um, I got mine in the shade Light 6W. This one, again, I did feel like it was a teensy bit too light for me. I know that this is supposed to be a warm tone shade, um, but I didn't really get any of that warmth through. Considering it is a very light wear, light coverage foundation, you don't really see much of it at all, but I would have liked it just a little bit warmer. And then now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the um, ColourPop Hydrate, or Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. This one I got in the shade Fair 15W. Fair 15W. It smells very like chemically. <laughs> it smells like chemicals. So that's not fun, but whatever. Okay, so this is very, very thick. Um, I may be putting a little bit too much on. I do like the applicator that it has. Um, it's a little bit flimsy, but I do like how long it is. It reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape applicator, um, although it's not as big. It does the job. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dab that in again. Okay, so this is definitely medium to full coverage. Yeah, so I do definitely feel like it completely covered all of the redness and darkness that I have under my eyes. It's not way lighter than the foundation shade. Um, however, it does kind of, you know, give a little bit of brightness there. <laughs> this side actually looks really crazy, I'm so sorry. I think I'm tired as well, so it's just like even worse. You still can kind of see, because I don't have that additional coverage from the foundation, you can still definitely see a lot of the darkness under my eyes right here. It still does blend into my skin very well, um, even though I don't have um, like foundation down here. There's not like a harsh line of, you know, where I have the concealer as opposed to the moisturizer on the rest of my face. But yeah, I definitely do love um, the combination of the concealer with the foundation. Um, it definitely does give you medium to full coverage. I don't normally like full coverage um, because just the feeling of it on my skin, I just, 
I hate that feeling. I definitely do recommend these two together if you are looking for a medium coverage without the density of how a full coverage, full medium to full coverage foundation would normally feel. The hydration aspect of the foundation and concealer, um, I do definitely feel that. Um, it's not as dewy as the uh, Maybelline Fit Me foundation. Um, I normally use that on my everyday basis um, and it is extremely dewy. It's more of like a watery consistency but it is definitely hydrating my skin doesn't feel matte or dry or anything like that i just realized that i actually had you guys zoomed in for like a long time there i'm <laughs> sorry i have actually been looking for a really good staple foundation and concealer duo for a really long time um i've been kind of hopping from foundation to foundation for a really long time and um i don't like spending like 40 dollars on my foundation so i've been just getting drugstore foundations like maybelline um l'oreal i believe i've tried almay and lately i have loved the maybelline fit me dewy foundation but i just really really wanted to try these out so i'm really glad that i did i definitely know my color now and um i can just get these from now on very affordable i'll go ahead and put the links for these products down below and you can um, see what the price ranges are i believe i said earlier that i got all the products in the collection um but i think i'm wrong thinking back on it now i do think that they had a setting spray or some type of mist um which i don't use so i didn't want to get that but yeah i'm just kind of like rambling on now so i apologize i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then um i'll be back for final thoughts all right so i am back with all of my makeup done after i've applied all of my usual makeup um powder bronzer all of that stuff um, the foundation does still feel very, very velvety. I did put powder on my whole face and it doesn't look cakey. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel like crusty. Like sometimes when I do my foundation and then I put powder on over top of it, it feels like flaky and crusty and just my skin looks really dry. Um, I don't get that vibe with the foundation over here. Um, on this side, I honestly feel like I can't really tell the two apart at this point. I still do have a little bit of that darkness under here that it didn't fully cover. Um, other than that, it doesn't look that different. So final thoughts, I do definitely recommend the ColourPop Pretty Fresh line. Um, I do recommend the foundation a little bit more than the moisturizer just because I do like a tint more coverage than the moisturizer gave me. But if you're on the go and you just want something really quick, moisturizer I would definitely get. And there's no harsh smells to these at all. So if you have sensitive skin, I don't believe that it's going to affect you. So if you guys did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, subscribe. I know I've been gone for a really long time, so um, hello if you've watched me before. Thank you for coming back and watching me again. Um, and also hello if you are new here. Nice to meet you. My name is Winter. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and comment any other videos that you'd like me to do. I do have a kind of like a list of other videos that I want to try. But yeah, I'm really excited to be trying this out again and just having fun. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.